Whoa! That's pretty good. Hello and welcome to another episode of Kaiser's Idiotic Ideas. How do you fancy a bike packing stove that A weighs just 35 grams including the fire snuffer and windshield, B fits into your cup and C costs next to nothing? In fact, you can even make it yourself. If so, then stay tuned for a step-by-step -step guide on how to make your own super lightweight camping stove. This will be the first time I'm making one, so you might want to watch to the end before starting your own, just in case I completely mess it up. Here is my alcohol stove. Stick some methylated spirit in the middle, light the wick, pop your water on a cup on the top and the water boils in less than five minutes. It fits in my 300ml cup, has a snuffer to quickly put out the flame if required and it has a windshield that helps concentrate the flame as well as prevents it from going out. I have a larger cup of 650ml that the windshield fits into that I sometimes take. I have a larger 650ml cup that the windshield fits into that I sometimes also take. Pop a little one in the middle. Now the reason I use one of these stoves is because my friend Chris, hello Chris, told me it was a good idea and that he'd make me one. His argument was that it's super small, super lightweight and efficient and you know what? I wasn't wrong. I've mainly used it to boil water on, but recently I took a tiny frying pan and fried some bacon on it and it was a roaring success. You will obviously need to carry the alcohol as well as the stove, but on an overnight or even a couple of nights, you only need maybe 100 ml if that. The stove consists of an outer and a slightly taller inner with a rope between the two. The cup balances precariously on the taller inner, obviously, and does not withstand an attack by an overzealous English Bull Terrier, just for information. You can also make a windshield that I will give you the dimensions for, but I won't, but I won't be making one in this video because I have a limited amount of patience. You will need a couple of cans of something tasty. The diameter of the can should be around 50 millimeters or just one taller can will probably do. A length of stove rope, this one is 80 centimetres. You can buy these cheap online in rolls so you'll likely have more than enough. This will be the stove's wick. Okay, we need some sandpaper, a fine tipped permanent marker, a Stanley knife blade, a ruler and a pair of scissors. First thing you need to do is drink the contents of the can. Next, we need to create the outer part of the stove. So we will cut the can to keep the lower part with a height of 30 millimeters or thereabouts. Easiest way to do this is to get a book or two measuring the right height, rest the knife on it, and then score the can by rotating it with pressure against the blade. Do quite a few rotations. It's possible to do this with scissors, but it's trickier and just not as much fun. We then press on cut line and the can should just magically come apart. Oh, Don't do that. Good job I've got another one, eh? Okay, I think this one is better. So again, we will gently press down the score line for it to come apart. Or it doesn't, I'm going to cut it myself. So I don't make a hash of it again. Because 
I don't drink a lot of gin. So, you know, it's not like I've got these lying around everywhere. Paper the edges to prevent yourself from chopping the fingers off. Now that we've got the outer part, we will make the inner part. Measure the height of the base and add 10 millimeters, and that will be the height of the inner section. Cut up the center, strike three, so let's make four. making a cut line at four centimeters and I'm just going to cut that with the scissors rather than faff around scoring the can again because I didn't like that. Bumble's angry. Why are you angry Bumble? She's always angry about something. Getting old. I get older, I get angry faster. Okay, so now we have a section nice and long. Bumble's not angry anymore. Okay, then we're going to put this in here and we are going to put the wick around the outside like two trailer park girls. So we will push that down. It needs to be nice and tight. Yeah, that's easier. Use the scissors to push it down. We don't need to put the whole, whole wick in there, but we do need enough to kind of say, right, that's where the overlaps will be. I'm just gonna make sure that a cup will there. Yep, okay, so then we're going to mark these where the overlap is there and on the inside. We're going to do a cut line halfway on this on the inner so that it will hang together, it won't fall apart. Okay, so we'll take that out. And there we see we have a cut line here. And then we've got the overlap line there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna measure how big this overlap is. Basically what you're gonna do with the inner is you have everything at right angles. And then you're going to cut a line up there, a line up there that are matching in distance and obviously at the right, at the right place for it to hang together. So it's the right diameter within the, uh, the outer. And then you'll basically do this like so that will hold the inner together. I'm not sure that I explained that particularly well, but you get the idea. Oh my God, that's amazing. So then I should be able to put that in there and thread the doobie drop around it. Woohoohoo! Next thing to do is to cut. Bumbles found a new toy. What you got, Bumbles? Next thing to do is to cut some little triangles out of the bottom. I'm going to put three in. This should help the alcohol get to the rope. Okay. 
put the inner and the outer and then thread our stove rope around the outside. Two tripod girls. I need to stop saying that. Should we try it? Ooh, let's. Put it on something that can't burn. that myself how exciting and it worked and everything so if I can do it you can do it I only need literally about that amount for a weekend but I need a smaller bottle so you can also make yourself a snuffer which is very useful you need a slightly wider can than the one that you've made and just pop that over the top when you need to put the flame out obviously make sure that it is higher than the inner edge, so it goes over the whole thing. Hours of fun, I mean you could have hours of fun, right? Methylated spirit is also safe to cook things over, so if you have some pizza on a stick, which I'm sh I have to create a video on how to make, because it's just amazing. We'll cook it on there. Okay, the measurements of the windshield that I've got are 37 centimeters long, 10 centimeters high, and then it's got a bunch of holes in the bottom of it to let, to let the air in. Just stick that around the bottom of the stove. Presto. So this one has been, as you can see, has been folded over so there are no hard edges. It's only 4% alcohol in fosters. Well, that was easy. Got a spare stove now. Um, I hope you have joy with yours. I'd love to hear how you get on with making yours and when and how you use it. Please do not set fire to anything. Um, use it in a controlled manner. Make sure it's on something that's not flammable and don't let English Bull Terriers near it. If you like this video, please hit the like button and do consider subscribing. You know, hit the little bell on the side of the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you next time.